Hello, it is Navi time on Mirage, it would seem, because Mirage is a Navi, Navi map for, uh, through and through. I think everyone is familiar with this. And at flip side, have to try and defeat them there. Otherwise, they are going to go home with a loss, basically. Well, I yes. guess they're already home, but they're going to go out with a loss. Yeah. Um, although, you know, don't count flip side out. They are a powerful team on Mirage as well. Obviously, we'll see if they have the double up set up uh, where... You have Wadda in CPL and Simple on shorts. But the thing is, like apparently Markloff is is uh, more willing to pick up the op when he when he when he feels it when it when it Yay. feels on. So Yay. we'll see if that comes into play. You know, because again, if Simple's not hitting his shots or he can't find like mainly on the T side, if he can't find a way to be m more useful with the op than with an AK. Then maybe he picks up an AK and Marco picks up an AWP instead. Who knows? But uh, and w with simple being uh, primary AWP now, I'm expecting well that it to be the primary AWP on CT side in CPL. That would make sense to me. Um, but we'll have to see. I'm curious to see what we're going to see. I always like the Fnatic style the most, where you have you a renegade AWPer that's like the diva and just like runs around all the entire map because that there is so much impact to do that. Um, I don't know if I've full time to explain it. Devil uh, explained it quite well when he was here some time ago. But essentially the, the the idea is that because there's so many timings to different sides of the map, and if you've got a versatile team, you can be let's say your, your JW is like, I'm going here with the AWP now. You go you go somewhere else. And you can go and take the palace pick or you can take the pick from B apartments. You can always like provide the threat that there'll be an AWPer. And the dynamic changes very like so much based on like how you should deal with that aggressive CT AWPer. So you, you basically give your CT mates with the rifles ways to play different setups because now these are more fearful that you that there could be an AWPer there. So they have to they have to give it more respect. And that that kind of style of warping is something that simple is should be really good at. So I feel like Footside starting off on the CT could actually have a really solid half here. We're gonna have to see if Navi gonna bust out those crazy fakes that we know they have with that uh, that amazing guardian smoke that goes from like one side of the map to the other to B. All right, so let's see what flip side have to offer on the CC side. Okay, so they're all going towards uh, well two towards B two and C at the moment. So yeah, more or less uh, retakes here. Two in connector actually. Interesting. See what the plan is here from Navi. What they're trying to achieve. A lot of presence towards B at the moment, but nobody in the underpass. Blade having a quick check there from Connector while his teammate holds the angle. So Navi asking some questions early. Oh, Blade's shadow is going to give him away there, and Edward's going to find the frag to boot. He's been thrown the Tech Nine because he's bought up armor. So uh, I'm guessing that Guardian threw Edward the Tech Nine as he's only got a Glock and a smoke grenade. Simple though will be the first to find a frag. He got three kills in the uh, previous pistol round. Markloff picking up the second one towards A. And now the bomb is far away from the rest of the Navi players. Maybe they're going for a worst case scenario bomb plant with a uh, running distraction. Bonic taking down Guardian. They've left the B bomb site as well, but Zeus is headed. Okay, he's changed around. He's going to go over towards B. So maybe he can get a plant for his team here. However, an angle is being held by World well, It. And that should be a free kill. Straight in the face. Good pistol round from flip side. Yeah, that really sucks for Navi. They they were too kind of spread out there, and I think Flipside had a bit of a read into Navi as well. They had two players in connector, which does definitely suggest that there is a propensity for Navi to do the B apartments pressure and force out those an A's, then kind of go for a fast connector hit, which is which is a cool strat actually. I like that one a lot from the T side. But now we'll, we will see the, uh, the pistol save from Navi. They do have a slight investment here, some flashes, some pistols, but no uh, no armor. Just a fast play out of the palace area into a bomb plant and they pick up the plant that would allow a buy in the following round if they really wanted to force it out but the bomb will get dropped and there will be no plant for them not even a frag in fact so a very successful round overall from flip side and nothing gained on the invest the investment albeit a minor one from navi that was an interesting attempt there from navi actually they had four players going towards a one in mid and the mid guy did the uh, running jumping flash over the top to flash people on the site i think blade saw it because he looked away to avoid the flash and then got a kill as somebody came out of Palace. However, I think that's definitely worth checking on the demo to see the general effectiveness of it. So we're going to have uh, Shock and Nor in the mid area here. Safety numbers for Navi and Simple. We'll have to wait for a uh, repeak. 
Gonna throw the flashbang out. He can have a teammate throw a flash over the arch and connector from A for him to peek, but he's going to opt for the safer play. Definitely does not want to drop that orb to this eco inside. Flamey getting a dink onto Markolov, but Markolov opening the proceedings there with the first frag into mid. Ooh, 10 HP, <laughs> that's nasty. But uh, not much they can do here, really. Ooh, that said, quick headshot found there. Good grenade, but Cease picks up the second kill, making those entries. And that is exactly what Cease does for Na'Vi. Pick up those entry frags. And now the bomb is making its way towards B, but it's so far away. And all of Blipside are here. But at least he has a rifle. And he's going to pick up a kill long range. The uh, SMG not really paying off in that situation. Now simple. He's got to go huge with this AWP. There's the first shot. Guardian goes down. We'll find the second player momentarily. As uh, Cease is lurking behind the pillars. So yeah. This is looking very awkward now for Na'Vi. Zeus get this done, takes down simple, one more player. I think he may have heard the reload, but he won't get the shot on. But they kill four players and a bomb plant. Oh my god, the flip side are in trouble. Yeah, that was uh, really bad. And Bondic should have gone to get the AWP before defusing, but he's still going to find it, so could have been worse. Oh, that's the new AWP as well. Well, one of them. There are three new AWPs in yesterday's update. That one is... I don't know what it is. It looks like some kind of... Uh, Voodoo board or whatever. I want the Hyper board. Beast AWP. That one looks. I bought this orb. Awesome. This morning. I bought five skins. Anyway, Simple's going to be back with the AWP. I like the Dark Orbs for the CT side. I don't know why. Anyway, buy round for both teams. Guardian holding the angle already into mid. So Simple will need some assistance from Flashbang should he uh, opt to peak the angle. There are some clean smokes there. Mark is going to have limited vision of mid, so uh, there's not much data for Flipside to work with at the moment. Nate. That is a, a dank nade to put Edward onto 66 HP, so starting to get quiet here. They want to work Edward into connector, I believe. I think that's what they're trying to do. Or uh, is it Edward? I think Edward's on short there. I'm not sure who is next to him on the minimap, but they want to get uh, Zeus, in fact. They really want to get one of them into connector, but they can't do it because they wanted to make this three pronged attack happen to pressure Simple, but he's not going to have to worry about anything from connector now. And as the push comes up slope, it's going to require insane picks from Na'Vi. Flamey will start things off with a nice entry. However, more needs to be found here to allow Na'Vi to get the bomb planted. It will be uh, Seas now looking through the smoke as it goes away. Simple with the pick off. Can they get any of these frags? There it is, Guardian over the top. Does take down Blade. We do have Simple still there behind the stairs. And Flamey still looking for these entries. And it's going to be found here onto Simple, but the trades are coming in. And another round which cost Flipside almost everything. And will, oh, what it doesn't pick up the AWP either. So really expensive round for Flipside. And Na'Vi can buy again. This is still kind of dangerous for Flipside. Yeah, surviving multiple rounds with only one player is not going to be a good situation for Flipside because as soon as they lose one round, they're going to be on eco straight away. But for, for now, it's 4-0 in favor of Flipside. Oh, cool see smoke. if they can continue that route. Yeah, that's very indeed a very safe smoke. What uh, well did it end, Co? Very good for their smoke around map, especially Mirage. The A site has been completely opened up here from from uh, Na'Vi. Could be their first round on the board here, but Blade with another double kill. He's got a few of those so far this match. Charging in before they can get their uh, post plant set up on two versus two now. Guardian really needs to find a weapon here, but I don't think he's going to be able to do so. Although, ah, he does find the AK. Good stuff. Runs onto the sides. Oh, Blaney, very, very good prediction there. Expects the jump over the smoke onto the toll booth, and Guardian does his job as well. So Na'Vi do pick up their first round, and their damage was so amazing that there is nothing, almost nothing left for Flipside. I like this, though. They are going to go for a... Oh, we had a crash. That's uh, very unfortunate. That does som sometimes happen, which is weird. But uh, either way... Um, we have a very orange desktop, Dan. It's it's the the colours of face it. It is indeed. Just just orange. Hello. But very cool uh, strategy there. Just picking up the orb. I mean, it, it evens up the money and actually gives you an opportunity to potentially win rounds because one orb can sometimes just win rounds if it's in the right position at the right time. And if it, and if if not, then you, maybe you lose a round. You do loads of damage with it. Maybe uh, you're able to save it, or maybe you lose it and you're still on the same money as your teammates. So it's uh, it's a great investment. I love this kind of a play. Hopefully we jump in in time to see what actually happens. Um. One of the interesting, <laughs> one of the interesting things about, well, never mind, I'll come back to it later. So they've got open pistols here. It's one man down on both sides. 
Infill is coming in from shop at the moment, from kitchen. And it's going to actually be uh, look, looking not so bad, actually. They're going to spot Guardian over there. And he's down to 2 HP somehow. Gets out of there. Simple now close with the AWP. I think he's maybe spotted a barrel there. Looking for the shot. Gets it onto Seized. Now it's just Zeus in the immediacy of that car position. And Simple picks up the AK. Goes for the shot. Doesn't make it happen. It's down to Bondic now as he comes in. And uh, significant damage has been been put in right now and Bonnick should be able to easily pick off one of these players I'd say that 5-7 oh, and he could maybe get one of these weapons out of there as well Guardian's going to be careful going to be coming in and will take the frag onto Bondic. so 4-2 to two is the score as the uh, bomb will explode and that's going to uh, of course mean Na'Vi are not in such a terrible spot to be honest because flip side they still don't have any money got to go for a save but uh, it was a costly round for, for Na'Vi, nonetheless. Indeed it was. And Na'Vi now have a good opportunity to get some momentum going, get a number of rounds in the bag, and uh, obviously keep the flip side economy completely ruined. And those MP7s and MAC-10s have a great chance to make some bank for the Na'Vi side. Flamey just searching. For some more cash, and there it is. Guardian cleaning things up at the end there. So, let's see, flip side. Yeah, they're going to be low on grenades here if they all go for the full buy with the rifles. And it's not going to be easy. No AWP at all. We saw how they changed their setup actually with the one AWP, where simple. Because normally, again, we were expecting more than it, or I was, to, to be in CPL, but instead you have um, simple in the connector area with it, so he's, he can be that dynamic. All part going around the place, but we'll see if it pays off for them as the game continues here. Okay, so we we'll go for an execute onto the A bomb sites. And actually, Flipside have players are well positioned to deal with this. If they counter flash right now, I think they're actually trying to do that, which is kind of nice that Navi are actually waiting a little bit because Flipside are throwing in the counter grenades. And wait, there's not nothing coming. So Navi actually could be in a much better position by waiting here and they actually have the bomb moving down towards B apartments at the moment. Actually no it's coming back now. So they're changing I don't know if they're changing their mind. I guess they would be because not sure what was going on. They're gonna toss the bomb onto one of the players. So it looks like there was a bit of a miscommunication. And they lost track of the bomb early in the round, so they're slowing down the play. And uh flip side still have no idea what's going on at the moment. But Navi are about to make their entrance. Okay, so many nades on the Navi side. Let's see what the the final plan is as this round progresses. Push coming into the A site now. Bondic gonna be the first to fall to Flamey. Simple just gonna hang on the edge of the smoke there. Wait for someone to come out of Palace, but there's nobody in Palace. First frag goes his way. That's a bomb carrier as well. Well did it cleaning up on the B site. And this is gonna be a massive round for Flipside to win. Only Flamey remains. Let's see how much damage he can do. None at all. Flipside only lose one player in that duel. And Navi's money wasn't fantastic to begin with there, so they're going to be um, on muddy waters here, to say the least. Yeah. Flip side with an important round. They're held everywhere. I mean, the, the plan there should at least be that, okay, maybe the push gets a little bit shut down, maybe just one frag on the A-bomb site, but then, you know, your player's on B, they they get the kills, like at least one or two kills, and then you've got a crazy round on your hands. But no, they didn't get anything. Great hold all, all across the board for flip side, but... Here we have a bit of a mid-take coming from Na'Vi and Simple just out in no man's land there, thinks that he's safe. Going for a very risky play into underpass, but he gets punished by Na'Vi. And that is a very, very dangerous situation now for Flipside. They're down a man and mid is up for grabs for free at this point for Na'Vi. And the bomb needs to be collected, but you should imagine that the three-point attack should come in as I think it sees to his position to take some control into connector to allow that to happen. And again, it's uh, a very early pick here, leaving Flipside on four players for a considerable amount of time. Bondic going to even things up. So we'll see if Flipside can hold, but they're of course going to be stretched. Mid, here yeah, they have minimal control over mid. They pretty, pretty much have connector, not the rest of it. You can see C's there looking to find out where these CTs are playing. He has to expect somebody's going to be on short. Coming into the A site now. Zeus going to take down two people again with the Tech 9. We saw it in the previous map. We see it again here. That's going to pretty much close out the round unless well that it goes bananas with this gun. 
There's a nice snap onto Zeus, and now the round starts because the bomb's on the floor. Guardian to finish things off for his side, making it 5-4 in the favor of Flipside. Flipside find themselves on the eco again. So, uh, they're going to have a pretty okay buy after, like, in the next round. They get 1,900, so the worst off, the worst off player will have, like, $3,700, but everyone else will have, like, around 5k. So, decent buy in the following round for Flipside, which is why they were so light on the investment here. And now Na'Vi are looking to take significant economic control in the match. This is the point in which they could try to start running away with things. They get the clean round picked up here. Nobody dies just yet, which is uh, excellent stuff. Exactly how they wanted it to to go so far. And going into the next round, they just have to... I wonder if we'll see like a super fast play from Na'Vi, because sometimes teams do actually do this, where like a team you know finally gets their buy, and you want to just throw them off with a really, really fast pace after showing a bunch of slower rounds. And we know that Na'Vi sometimes do actually throw that in there, sometimes. So will, will this be one of those times, or will they just play it standard? It's uh, going to be interesting to see what their choice is. I'm, I'm sure it will depend be, uh, depend on some of the spawns as well. Edward's already looking towards Palace, and Flamey is also looking towards Palace and Slope, so... Uh, okay, they're not going to go where they were looking. <laughs> <laughs> they're all going to run backwards from spawn. Alright, look at the aggression again from Simple in the middle of mid and he gets picked off straight away again, this time by Guardian. So, very early on into the round, flip side, four players. This is not going to be easy for them. You have to wonder if uh, they're set up with World well in CTR may be more favourable here on Mirage, at least against uh, Narby. See if uh, they change things up as these rounds continue or how many opportunities they will even get as their money is very ropey indeed. One player taken down. Oh, Guardian with the snap. He smells a rat and eliminated him with a, with some kind of cannon. One that gets caught short while reloading as well. And it, it really is just all falling apart for Flipside here. Yeah, this is a really nice round from Na'Vi. Fast picks into mid, fast picks into B apartments. And, well, they they managed to do just that. They took, took good control of mid. And we had a second challenge in mid from Markolov. I think he was trying to boost himself up over the smoke from short. Which was a very cute play, but it was it was a pretty big risk. It didn't pay off, and from then on, it was just they just crumbled. And uh, we see Navi with a very very good situation on the money, starting to develop for themselves. As Flipside once again have to go for a full save, so they are going to be in Henry G's his uh, his sewers, <laughs> uh, basically at this point. They're in Henry G's sewers. So oh. Simple's actually made it to the other oh, side. Back. The other side of CPL, and uh, the smoke leaves him open to have a peek at some point. We'll have to see if he comes into play. He's moving around a little bit. You can see Flamey just applying some pressure in the connected area. That is an aggressive nade to bounce off the back wall. Not going to do that much damage. So Nabi just uh, toying with Flipside around the map here. And we'll see if they make the mistake that Flipside made in the previous map, where they just waited a bit too long to get these... Uh, Start getting the frags, but doesn't seem so. Blade getting the first kill, traded by Zeus. Simple's uh, position wasn't able to utilize it after all. Wow. Big find the frag in an awkward position. Get the finishing blows though, and I don't think Navi are going to be like hurting on the money at all. No, not at all. Okay, so this round's uh, flip side, they've got the AWP. The double AWP's actually simple and well did it. Now, we'd like to see. One of these guys. And let's see what spawns they have. Simple and Wadded, where are they going? So it's really hard to see the numbers. Okay, Simple's first into CPL, so he's going to be able to potentially drop out of it here if he wants to. He's going to go for the regular peak though. Wadded it with the very, very, like, incredibly safe smoke into a very defensive angle. So interesting. I never see anyone play it like that actually. I think it's the first time I've seen anyone play it like that. Simple moving around here, moving back to connector after getting smoked out the CPL peak. And uh, Navi must expect this. Here they go. Oh, the timing. He looks away just at the wrong time. You know, he was there for a while. Doesn't want to be there for too long. But again, he gets picked off by the double peak from Navi. So the original one was going to be more favorable. Navi just taking complete control of mid. Frags coming in all over the place. Flips are getting cut down once again. Navi looking like the Lex Luthor to uh, flip side Superman at the moment. Bondic and well did it. Last two versus three. That's a very nice... Oh, it's not even the name that kills him. It's Bondic's gun after all. So, question is now, where are the remaining two players here for Na'Vi? Oh, the distraction! Well, did it just finds the right angle just in time. Edward has to retrieve the bomb here. He's stuck.
between a rock and an AWP. He knows where the AWP is. Ooh. Does get himself into position though. Oh, what a kill there onto Botic! And now what it is, going to try to save this round, and Edward is in a decent position to make this work for himself. Good uh, use of the Molotov, and that's perfect actually. Uh, not quite perfect, a little bit off there, but it does allow Edward to reposition. It's a key thing, but what it is, it's going to push through with that rifle, and he will pick up the round. But it's, again, it's very expensive for Flipside. If they, not, now they're in a spot where, again, if they if they lose the next round, they're on an eco, I believe, because they spent they will have to spend everything. And uh, although we are going to go into the, the 14th round, so they're really playing so that uh, they can make it 8-7. If they lose this one, then it's very likely going to go to two rounds to Na'Vi, I think. So, Sim well that it's thrown the AWP to, to Simple, but well that it has the best spawn to get into a position in CPL. And Simple's actually behind him, but he's going to go into CPL. And he will have time to go there first because they we have four Na'Vi players headed toward A and Edward with a late mid. And the smoke is in there as well, which allows him to get up short, but Simple's going to have the right angle this time and win the duel, and he's straight out of there. Yep, this is a very smart move for Simple to just look at the exit of the smoke there. It's very, very common that people actually, at, at the moment in the, in the meta, actually just run through the smoke. I do it all the time as well, because it's hilariously effective. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, Na'Vi not with uh, a lot of map control now. Without middle, we can see that it, everything becomes easier for flip side. It's going to have to be this A execute. Will it work though for flip side, uh, for Na'Vi? Okay, so that's a, a really big smoke from the CT side, actually. That's a smoke you commonly see from the T side within Palace because you can bounce a flash off the wall, which pop flashes in the smoke itself and blinds a lot of people on the site. So to see you in reverse is quite interesting. I'm not sure if um, Na'Vi have the relevant pop flash. That's my problem. the stairs there. However, they won't be able to use it too effectively at the moment. Oh, wow, how did that miss? It looked like it was on, but simple. You actually allow them to live as Na'Vi are getting quite low on the health now as they push on in. Bonnick in a great position. He's going to take down two players very quickly as he goes up the ladder and back down again. Finds the third thrag as in comes the last player. And what is it? We'll have the crossfire. And it's going to be 7-7 seven seven and flip side now are looking much more solid. There's one thing I must mention though, which is very cute. Two rounds ago, Na'Vi did this, this middle take with two players from Connector where CPO was smoked and they bounced the smoke off of the top of Connector to smoke off short. And I haven't seen the team actually do it like that before. And then, then they, they moved in very quickly into Connector because it was smoked, the short was smoked off. Really like that. For anyone else that noticed that, it was very, very, very cool from uh, Na'Vi. Looks like we might have a fast Na'Vi uh, play onto the A site. You can see Bonnick just bouncing that safe smoke off the wall into the Palace area. So they've got uh, Zeus aggressive in a, an aggressive position in Palace. He's going for the... Oh, that's really, really smart indeed. We'll have to talk about that in a second. But here comes the push in from Na'Vi. Edward is uh, stuck behind the Molotov though with his teammates all by slope. And Simple finds a nice reposition onto the bomb site. And this is going to be key right now as he's going to find himself in the middle of the action. Already going to pick off Zeus as they make their way in. Player after player goes down right now. Seized the only one to make a, any kind of response here for his side as the knife goes in from Seized. And it won't really amount to much. But flip side, they're going to make it 8 to 7. And that is, to be honest, a really excellent result considering. Na'Vi put them in all kinds of horrible positions, but they still managed to come out 8-7. Good, good oh. showing from Na'Vi, uh, from Flipside. Definitely, that was a very uh, trying half. And you can see Zeus basically in Palace, he lined himself up further back from the, from the exit. So he could strafe into the corner and throw a Molotov into the shadow area without having to line it up where the smoke is, because obviously he was smoked off. So a nice touch there by Zeus. But it's flip side in the lead after a very difficult CT half indeed. Okay, so what is the CT pistol looking like for Na'Vi? Ooh, we've got lots of players moving towards B here. We've got two, in fact. So actually, no, it's, I think this is pretty much what, uh, very close to what Flipside actually did on their CT, where they had two players around the connector. So very tight mid control here for Na'Vi. However, Flipside looking for the simple straight up A execute right now. So might just be the... Uh, Straight up retake coming in from Na'Vi as they have three players in connector. So as soon as the nades come over, they can respond incredibly quickly and even just try to stop the bomb going down. Here we go. We're going to have ourselves many fights on the A bomb site. Guardians find himself a nice angle. Going to get the first kill onto Blade. Bomb should get planted. CT opens at the moment. Zeus going to try and uh, contest it very shortly indeed. Edward getting the jump there. 
Just going to shoot someone in the back of the head this world of it versus pretty much the entire Na'Vi force. Coming in like Chuck Norris, and that's going to be a solid pistol there for the Na'Vi side. Yeah, and uh, so I do believe if we, if we cast our minds back to the first half, this is the same affair for Flipside. However, when Flipside were on their second round, uh, Na'Vi were able to put in like a really crazy pistol round and almost eliminate, I think, everyone but one player. So immediately they had hard, like really hard choices to make, really difficult money decisions. Can Na'Vi avoid this entirely? That's really the question. I mean, the bomb did go down, so Flipside will have a, an eco here before the AKs come out. And uh, to see what kind of damage they can get done here. And of course, this is the reason why there's, there's only one SMG and it's on Zeus at the moment. They know the AKs are around the corner. Nice opening there by Blade. Trade coming in from Edward, but the numbers are not in his favor. He needs teammates to rotate. That. However, ooh, this could be a bait and switch as the bomb is still very deep into B apps. However, there's a flank coming in from Zeus. So that bomb needs to be careful. It might not be able to get onto the site now because we've got a Guardian going up the stairs as well. So this is, in fact, potentially worst case scenario. They need to find the frags here because that bomb's gone down. Guardian's got it now. And it's going to be Guardian versus three. That said, they've got two players of M4s, but there's no armor on the team, so they could lose it because of this bomb here. This is really a disaster. Complete travesty for Na'Vi. They're going to get sent to Henry G. Sewers. And uh, it's not going to be a good good place to be. It's going to be just uh, pistols to play with for a while as they get completely reset on the monies. In fact, they're going to go for the, uh, the pistol armor buyout because they're going to have to eco twice anyway. So it is a smart choice to try to reset flip side back as they have just done to Na'Vi. And that could be their salvation if they're going to find a way to actually put it off. Do you need salvation, Dan? Well, if you're in Henry G. Sewers, you do. What is it with you and Henry G. Sewers? I don't know, I just remember that he said that a bunch of times at uh, and, <laughs> and uh Sounds kinda weird. I wanted to make it a thing. Because it's really silly. <laughs> so we have a uh, bit of an exchange there. Markov getting taken down quite low, but same goes for Seized. We're gonna have to see some pretty awesome play from I believe it's Zeus on Shadow right now. He's got a dig. We're seeing so many deeks, just generally. It's three on the team of Na'Vi at the moment. And I love, actually, that we're seeing so many deeks. So here we go. Can they get the defense in here? It's going to be uh, simple and blade up from the slope area as we try to get something done here. And it will be simple picking off Guardian to kick off the affairs. Oh, wow. It's a clearance. So let Debenhams down. But there's still one safe on the shelf. Seize taking down Bondi. Can they try and get a bit more damage on the trade coming in? Only Edward remaining. But look how tagged these players are. He... He could make money as well. There's one. There's two more to find. He saw one close. He's going to try and pre-fire him as he comes around the corner. They're both on the side. He gets a second one as well. Markle 5 HP. He needs to kind of reverse clutch now. This is madness. Edward's going to reset the position. Markle's going to wonder what the hell's going on. Still not planting just yet. And I think he's going to try and plant it for CT. Oh no. Disaster is about to strike as Edward goes in. Tries to close the distance. Oh, gets the shot onto Markloff. Great reactions there. And that's going to be the clutch from Edwards. Three players, in fact, four kills found by Edward. That's amazing. That is absolutely crazy. Flipside actually gave himself a reasonable amount of time. Got a flurry of kills on the site. But just that one blind side, that one little uh, peripheral vision mm. corner that yeah. wasn't checked. If they were if they were in the Henry G sewers, I guess that must make them te the teenage mutant ninja turtles chase because they have climbed out the sewers and they're kicking ass. I am not going to engage this nonsense. Double it's off ridiculous, Dan. The flip side, actually, they go. They're not messing around. Markov, uh, sorry, uh, simple and uh, what are they? Just straight up going for that double orb. So playing the picking style, guarding anyone with an orb on uh, the side of. Na'Vi, but Edward's going to find himself at the mercy of Wadded in middle, so good start here for Flipside. I'm telling you, man, Mirage is Wadded at map when it comes to warping. It just is. As far as the Flipside's team concerned, anyway. No offense, Mr. Guardian. Buckle up coming in there, but Flamey going to use the smoke to his advantage. Bondic creeping through with his team. They've pretty much taken over control of the PA bomb site. Just needs to fight for connector and jungle now. Only Flamey remaining in connector, but there's a pot there was a potential flank coming in, but it's not going to be needed because Bondic's going to be good enough for the job. C's going down as well. Just Guardian versus two ops and a Galil. Oh, and he's just going to get completely wrecked by Simple. 
and it happens again with round for round for round and that that only is, is going to serve at the detriment of the cts especially in spots where of course like the terrace can always get the bomb down it's like something that the cts even if they lose around it can help them uh, mitigate the economic uh, hardship but that's not something navi can really rely on now they have to eco again and uh, flip side uh, they, they have to be taking like significant control of the match from this point. They're going to go with a straight up B push as well. This might be hard though against an eco with two orbs. Because they need, they need to reach all these little corners. Obviously the um, the rifles are going to go first. There's an opening frag. But they need to make sure that they don't take as much damage as they did last time. Because we all know what happened then. There is a massive rotation coming in from the Na'Vi. They've got two players in T-spawn at the moment. With uh, Flamey in mid. So... They're not going to get that much damage done, I don't think, in this particular round. Should be somewhat of a, of a formality now. Looks like they're trying to set up for some exit frags, see if they can uh, nab any weapons on the way out. But flip side, already uh, very set up to try and combat any shenanigans from these players. Oh, Markov getting dinged to the CZ. He'll have to move away from that bomb explosion. Everyone survived so far. Guardian going in and the AWP is the closest thing to him as well. But flip side world edit is going to be ready for the challenge. So we have a slight pause coming in. Now, what are we, where do we, where do we go from here? Flip side, two round advantage, two AWPs. Na'Vi still with very ropey money. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, it's, it's one of those spots where just, like you, you just, keep like losing the wrong rounds. Navi can never hold on to their economy. So uh, Mirage is a very can be a very CT favored map sometimes if you can get like a really good economy and you can of course get good reads on your opponents and and start to emphasize your strengths, like emphasize your orpers into the into the rounds. But that's not been able to happen for Navi. They've just been completely destroyed every time they've had anything remotely close to a buy, which has been like maybe once. Uh, yeah, it's been basically been once in the second half that they actually had a proper buy. And first side double up them and destroyed them. They just, they just won the picking battles and that was it. So Navi, they need good money. They need some money to work with. And the problem for them is that it, it's not just about winning one round now. They have to win multiple rounds in a row, not only to secure their own econ economy so that if they do take losses, they can keep their, buy their buys as they want them, but also so that um, they can get Flipside to an eco at some point. Because Flipside have ba buys after buys after buys um, very soon. So this is looking uh, closer and closer to a very, very dominant map here or second half for flip side so navi i'm not sure what their answer the answer will be for them but they need to find that answer on the next buy if they, they if they can't then flip side have such an overwhelming chance to win the map all right so it's another challenge for flip side to survive the eco here you can see zeus in an aggressive position he's uh positioning himself basically so he gets to one tap from this range one shot to the head will be the demise of one of these flip side players should they be so unlucky. Bonnick's in a good position to try and put a halt to this. There's one, but he's going to get snapped off by Flamey. So that's a gun, maybe in the hands of the uh, Na'Vi side. Blade coming in for the trade and he will upgrade his Galil for the AK. Or should. There we go. So Connect is being taken over here by flip side as they clean up the round. Uh, so, so one thing that Na'Vi can think about, right, is that they know that flip side are double orping. So double orping is really strong. Like everything has strengths and weaknesses. Um, I mean, if you have a team that's playing like one orp and a bunch of AKs, then your your strengths and weaknesses are not as uh, not as clearly exploitable. It's harder to exploit them. But if it's double orp, it's really strong at the picking game, really strong at dealing with stuff like that. But when it comes to getting pushed, getting isolated, um, that that's really the weakness of it. When people get into your face, because then of course you need like a star opera like you know your Kenny S's, your JW's, your Guardians to, to pull out ridiculous like kills that you would never really expect in that kind of a spot. But but you're gonna make it hard for them. So what I'm trying to say here is that little aggressions. Navi could find some some advantages in that against the orpers who are looking for those picks. So there's a shot actually missed I think by what it is. So Edward just needs to count his blessings right there because. What is it's not going to miss that many times. So they've spotted where what it is. The same place as he's been every time with this orb. Flamey is very aggressive here in his positioning on A, which is kind of ironic because that's how uh, Starx used to play it as well. He used to be right up in there for, for Na'Vi and often used to peek down the stairs as well. So it's kind of cool to see Flamey doing the same thing as his, uh, you know, the former Na'Vi player who is the coach. 
in the game as well, watching closely. So here we go, we have the push into mid. Good trade there by Welded it into Connector. Very important to take down the Connector player. So this is going to flame off the apartments just for now. And that's going to allow Flamey to reposition slightly. And uh, we do have the rotation being forced out there as well. So flip side, how are they going to play this? Are they going to commit to a, an A player or are they going to try to split up the players? Looks like they're going to come together, converge into that A bomb site. But the majority of Na'Vi are actually here. So this could be where Na'Vi can get things going. They need to have a clean response on the defense. Zeus is going to start peeking in. Bondix on the angle. Goes for the snap. Gets it. Oh, both players for Zeus. Massive, massive result there for Na'Vi. They needed this so desperately. And now Flamey is in position by Shadow. Ready to receive these players. Coming up the slope. That's a great snap there from Wilder. But Flamey will stop the push. And it's just simple left over. He's got 10 seconds. And uh, they know where he is as well. Now, will he go for some sh shenanigans? Or is he, is he just going to try to save this? They could try to kill him off the time. Oh dear, so Simpson's in trouble now. Needs to not die off the time here, but I don't think they can get to him. Indeed, he will be safe. So round one by Na'Vi. Uh, very, very nicely done by, uh, by was it Zeus? I think yep. it was Zeus. Yep. Yeah, very nicely done by Zeus. <laughs> Completely saved them there. Yeah, just breaking the timing for Flipside as well. Although he, like, it's funny, like he, he span around the corner and flicked to his left and went back to kill Bondix first and then the uh, second player as well. Ooh, this is it. This is what he wanted to see. Some aggression in from Na'Vi. Not going to do anything though, James. Well, it's going to give them a hell of a lot of information. Usually they would expect Wada to be there, but this time he's not there. Usually he's there alone as well. So, kind of nice that um, Flamey could have got one-on-one, -on -one, but as you say, now he can just hide in that position. And... He's got a mate by connector as well. Where so. is Seized holding though? Because I don't know. I don't think anyone is looking in underpass at the moment. And Flame is going to adjust his position accordingly. Seized seems to be just holding an angle on mid, and Flame is going to continue to push. That's going to be alarm bells for Flipside. They know the game is up, and they know that they need to move quickly now because Navi have a hell of a lot of information. They must know it's going to be an A play now, or they they have a lot of tells that it should be. But they are still playing a super safe. Two still on B. Now the rotation is going to come in. But will it be fast enough? Two players dying past the smoke here. Guardian's going to open things up onto Blade. And Grenade's reigning in. Trades looking good for Na'Vi. Guardian picks up his third kill. And Zeus will finish off the last. 12 to 11. Na'Vi sprinting back into the game with some great plays. But look how far away they are from breaking Flipside's economy. This is, this is kind of nuts. Actually. Gu Guardian's actually hilarious in the sense that he got that massive swiping flick shot onto the player coming out of Palace, then switched to his knife and had time to, to press the inspect button before switching back to the AWP. I saw it start to spin, it was quite funny. You see, he loves sp spamming that inspect button. and uh, It's funny how people who play Counter-Strike for a long time end up with ticks. It's like you see people mashing the QQ button, which can sometimes get you killed. This time will be Guardian actually from Connector who's uh, orping from that position. So they haven't seen him orping from here so far. So this is a mix up from Na'Vi. However, two players at top mid for flip side. Guardian going to go for the peak maybe? Will he go for the deep peak into top mid? He looks like he will not. But in comes the flash from Blade. Bit of a pop flash there that will force Guardian back a little bit. And it will claim middle for flip side. However, they need, it's not just claiming middle, they need to get either connector, they need to get either shorts, CPL, there's lots of positions they need to build it into taking now. Oh, that nice. is a great Molotov, gonna force out a player. Guardian, he's not looking the right way. He was looking towards those players on short and that's gonna be the perfect distraction. Flamey's gonna do huge damage here, finds both frags and that's exactly the kind of play he needed to make, but Trey comes in from simple and this is chaos, absolute madness here. Two on two now, Na'Vi and flip side playing a very dangerous game, but it's going to be Na'Vi coming on top, coming out on top so far. But that bomb is stuck on short. What is Bondit going to do? 20 seconds for him to find a solution, pick up the bomb. I'll do something, but... The key positions indeed, get the first frag, insta-trade from Zeus. An expensive round for Na'Vi, but uh, a round nonetheless. Tying things up here, 12-12. Flipside put in a difficult economical situation, and they're probably going to have to try and uh, live to fight another day here. As I say that, of course, they're going for the force. Now they are, I think, aware that Na'Vi are pretty low on the cash. And they have a bonus to be used. So what kind of set play are they going to go for here? Do they have the wall of smokes to show us? Cutting off the A-bomb site. So, so it could be quite an effective one because it allows the tech knights to all rush together. 
and that I think is a more effect effective way to play with the Tech Nines than uh, the classic smokes on CT spawn and jungle and stairs, which after they dissipate, you're just stuck on the bomb site with the Tech Nines against rifles. You can see Markolov just holding the sneaky. Oh, well, he was holding the sneaky angle there, uh, but he came out of it. Gets the kill onto Zeus as well. Pick himself up an MP9 if he wants it. Here comes a push from Flipside. That's a massive nade. Take down Markolov. Got that palace angle. Trade's coming in though. Three versus one. Only simple remaining, but we know how dangerous he is. He needs, he needs to find himself in 1v1 situations. But there are too many angles to cover. Seed's going to take it for his team. Surviving of three players this time at Na'Vi. That will build their bank a little bit. And uh, Flipside, again, in an interesting situation. And if you are just joining us, of course, this is a best of three. However, Na'Vi did win the first map, Cobble, and are now taking the lead, 13 to 12. Likely to be 14 to 2 very soon, uh, looking at this uh, pistol save from Flipside, as uh, Na'Vi could be close to actually winning the series here. But it's going to be trades in mid, and uh, Simple will go down straight away. The most dangerous player with the pistol on Flipside, that is for sure. Only well that it blade remaining in this seco. Well that it just holding an angle. You might see the shadow first. Oh, the timing. Edward finds the kill regardless. So, Deagle, sometimes it's your friend, sometimes it's your enemy. Just blade remaining versus four. No bomb for him. Two frags. And with a minute on the clock, things just got interesting. He's got another player close oh! up. That's our third frag for Blade. What is going on? He's got Zeus in range as well. But where is he? Where's he gone? Zeus had the orb for a second. He's picked up the M4 again. 50 seconds remaining and Blade's in a situation where he can go and pick up the bomb. And now it's all on to Zeus. Where is Blade going to go? Zeus has no idea. He has a sincere lack of vision. He's leaving B and heading towards mid slash A. This would be a enormous clutch and a complete decimation of Na'Vi's momentum and money. Zeus all the way over towards A now. 25 seconds left on the clock. And by the time he gets back to B, Blade could be anywhere. Although so could Zeus, so Blade's got to be careful. He may realise that Zeus is a while away. Zeus closing in on the shop now. And it's going to be about who finds the angle first. Zeus with 50 HP. Blade with a little bit more, but oh, he's looking the wrong way. Zeus is just to his left there, and he's going to find the frag. What a massive clutch by Blades. Takes down four enemies. 1v4, Dan. Three kills of a P250 as well. And he's like, here, simple, have this all that I just picked up. The in-game leader for Flipside, showing the boys how it's done. Yeah, that is a really sick clutch, because now, now they've got a really strong buy, and Na'Vi have a very... Well, they have a buy, but it's... Limited as we can see Zeus is on a 5-7. It is actually not too bad on this angle that he's playing with so Might not be too much of a disadvantage in the end But we're gonna have to see now because Flipside they're mo making their way slowly down under pass with uh, Markolov um, So it looks like they're taking a very slow approach with this round at the moment And uh, Na'Vi got to be very careful so They don't get picked off early on. We've got Edward spotting into middle. He's not gonna find anything just yet So it's a really big question mark at the moment from Na'Vi. What are Flipside really up to at the moment? We've seen nothing in mid, we've seen nothing on slow palace, on apartments, it's nothing just generally. But now Flipside is starting to really get close on the palace. There's two players there and their intentions to us are revealed. They want this A play to come in and they want, to, want it to come in hard. But they don't have anyone in connector. That could be a problem. Here's Zeus, that 5-7. Oh, the incendiary is perfectly timed. But in comes Simple, looking for the spray through. And he gets Lamy in time. And now there is trouble in Na'Vi's world. Well, then it's still rocking the AWP here with Simple on the AK. And uh, they're finding success in this round so far. Still three more people to find. They still need to plant the bomb with 30 seconds remaining. But to go for CT. I think he's been spotted as well. Guardian desperately trying to stop the plant, but he won't be able to. Edward taking down Simple. Three versus three now. One open on both sides. Two rifles. Markloff falling. Guardian holding an angle from CT spawn. Got a bit of a crossfire, have the CTs, but two of them, all of them, heavily tagged indeed. Was it missing two shots? Now it's down to Bondic and a one versus three. He's not going to find wow. any of the frags. Getting completely shut down from Na'Vi. The trades are real. Not just people, but rounds as well, Dan. Wow, that was... Well, it's going to be probably like hitting himself in the face. Missing those two shots. 
and the first one looked really on. I mean, that, that's got to suck so much to water it. But thankfully, due to the clutch timing of Blade, they have another buy. And of course, the bomb was down, so that there is a, a decent amount of uh, a grenades on flip side, as well as all the weapons, more or less. Apart from an orb. But we get to see what kind of plays they have in mind which work without an orb. And it looks pretty similar to some of the previous rounds we've seen. Very defensive op opening from what did it? Very, very cautious play. Expectant perhaps of some sort of an aggression in middle. However, it will not come this time from Navi. They themselves are also playing very, very, very passively. We actually have a push into the, I think, the kitchen area of the B apartment. So this is some good information for Navi so far as Flipside slowly but surely come into some mid control. But again, they do need to convert it into some positional plays towards short CPL or or, uh, or connector. And that is still to be done. So we've got Zeus just having a look around. He's hovering between connector and CPL. Well, then it's taking down Zeus, but Guardian's in a position from CT to try and do something about this push here. Flamey has got one on the site, but he's been traded. Trade's coming in from short as well. Absolute bedlam here on the A site, coming from all directions are the guns. And that's going to be a two-man spray down for Simple to make things 14-14. There is nothing between these two teams, Dan. Except a lot of money <laughs> for flip side and guns, because now Na'Vi don't have almost anything to play with. And they might have to just try to think, okay, guys, we need to play for the overtime now, because if we buy now, then we like full buy now, then there's, there's no chance we're going to win a round. We have no money to play with. How many rounds did Na'Vi lose in a row here? Is that the first one they lost there? Yeah, so they, they're on 1900 after, after winning this one, losing this one, sorry. And that means that they're going to have, at best, 4K on these players, 4K uh, to buy with. So that's going to suck, Dan. Yeah, they're going to be on Famas. Famas is most of them, I believe. They're going to be throwing cheese boards at them with that kind of money. Yeah, I mean, the only way to have grenades with that is, is just by buying Famas. So they can cut the corner by not taking the uh, hel helmet, but they're going to get the bomb in this round. But I don't think it's gonna, gonna, uh, going to amount to too much as uh, one will claim that. And uh, flip side look quite quite comfortable at the moment. So uh, yeah, it's it's a very rough situation indeed here for, uh, for, for an RV. I mean, and they really want to close this out in two maps because flip side are a very dangerous team. And uh, this is this should have been, I think, a stronger map here for Na'Vi, and I think they would have thought so as well, but it looks like they're going to move into s towards Caesar's position, and Guardian's actually rotating into Kitchens. They might be able to do some more damage here, and ooh, Caesar's not going to be spotted just yet. He's going to get the quick frag onto Markov there, but the trade comes in just in a timely fashion as well as it arrives on the scene. So now we have the buy-in indeed. In fact, they're opting to get M4s out there, and you can see that that's going to mean that they have no grenades. No grenades. No nades. Well, all just two nades. And again, it's a situation where the CTs are going to want to have an early frag here. Significant advantage. Going to try and, you know, maybe just pick up the bomb if they can. But well, then it's going to pick up the scalp of Guardian and put it on a shelf somewhere. Maybe a spike. He is out for the count. They Good opening there by Flipside. Three of them bought helmets. They don't need helmets at all, James. <laughs> that, that could have been three smokes, actually. That's, uh, that, oh. always makes, that's, that makes no sense. Helmets were surplus to requirements, you might say, Dan. Yeah. They need to cut corners here, but either way, it's going to be uh, a very tough situation for them here. They've lost Guardian already, and Flipside are looking to slowly push their way into the B apartments, where there is nobody for Na'Vi. They are in a lot of trouble. Flamey is just waiting now. He's going to spot the grenades. He needs to have a huge response. There's kill number one. What else can he find here? There's the trade, though. So he can't get anything else done. Seas will pick off Markov though as they try to retake the B-bomb site. Flipside now have to contend with the CTs rotating in rapidly as they do want to get the bomb planted. And will they be able to do this? Edward's in prime position to shut this round down. Does get the first frag onto Bonding. There's the second one as well. Oh, Blade gets Edward. And it's going to be a really tough one-on-one -on -one for Zeus. He's got to play against Blade. And oh, there it is, Blade. Boom. This guy with insane rounds. In particular, the four-man takedown. And we can see it went 16 to 14 without Blade's ridiculous clutch. This game is not going to go the way of, of uh, Flipside. Yeah, it probably should have been a 2-0, but um, outstanding individual performance says, no, we are going to go to three maps. What is the last map, Dan? Inferno. Last map is Inferno. All right, guys, so we're going to take a moment to have a breather. We'll set up the next map for you, and we'll be back after this very brief break. <laughs> 